Hello, welcome back to Moranifesto, which continues to be me, Captain Moran, sitting on a chair and just saying stuff. This week I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine a world where teenage girls could take and accept compliments. If they could catch a compliment and hold it as easily as they can catch a rounder's ball in the field. If they didn't try and dodge it by saying, no, you're clever, or drop it by saying, you're insane, I look awful. But instead, just let it land in their hand and smile, knowing that here, as on the sports field, to catch it means you've won a point for your team. Because any compliment thrown and caught by any teenage girl means she is winning a point for our team. Our team. All the older, wiser women look on and want you to take as many compliments as you can, honeys. You do look pretty in that dress. You will make everyone cry when you sing that song. We want your hearts to light up like fairy lights, each bulb the glowing belief that you can make it to that university, or get on that plane, or walk into a room and make it happy just by being you. You need to learn the skill of accepting a compliment, my darlings. You need to learn it like you learnt how to say thank you, or to peel an orange, or fly a kite. These are the years where you start doing everything for yourselves. You are cutting those golden puppet strings of parental care now. You are real girls, and your actions are increasingly your own. And when you do amazing things, people will compliment you. And it's important you know why we invented compliments. We invented compliments before you were born in a blaze of high ingenuity. Because a compliment is an incredible thing when you unpack it. You seem to think, my compliment crushing darlings, that a compliment is made of sugar. That to eat a compliment would be greedy and unhealthy. That you might become crazed on the sugar that you might become overbearing and vain. You think that good girls do not accept compliments because you see this is what adult women do when they are offered either sugar or compliments. They will say, no pudding, just coffee, or I might be the CEO of an international company, but I'm so clumsy, I fall over all the time. I'm not inspiring at all. Compliments are not sugar. They are not unhealthy and they will not make you crazy. In fact, it's the opposite. Compliments are nutritious. If there's one thing I want to tell you, this peerlessly anxious generation of girls turning to medication in record numbers, it's this. Compliments are nutritious. If you can enjoy how delicious they are, if you can enjoy their fat and their marrow, the cream and the meat, of a compliment, they will build your skeleton strong. They will give you the power to reach for things that are just a little beyond your normal reach. They will allow you to jump a little higher and a little faster. Sticks and stones might break your bones, but kind words can build them. Because what else are we made of, really, except bones and belief? Pride will make you walk an inch taller, Confidence will oil your movements and render you graceful. We can see that happen. The mechanics of compliments are very well known because they are the mechanics of love. If I could change one vital thing for you, my wonderful younglings, it would be to make saying cruel things about yourselves as culturally unacceptable as saying cruel things about other people. You are the generation that is horrified by homophobia or transphobia or racism. You will blog about it and march about it and hold special assemblies. You will Instagram inspiring slogans written on your hands. You will rage on behalf of others. You want fairness and you want love. And then you will sit in a circle, taking it in turns to berate your own hair, your own bellies, your own skin. A teenage girl hating that is in every school and every bedroom, where you speak about yourselves so casually and brutally, it takes my breath away. 
You scrutinise yourselves and deem yourselves to have failed if you do not measure up to the appearance of athletes, socialites and goddesses. You, you good-hearted, round-faced girls who know who founded America, who know algebra, who can ask how much is this in three different languages and agitate tirelessly for a better future, but who do not know this simple, vital, beautiful thing of how to take a compliment. So here's how you do it, my beautiful girls. You just say thank you and you catch it in your hand and stand back and watch us applaud you because you have taken one on behalf of the team. Everyone out there has one idea that would make the world a better place and I want you to tell me yours.